Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Brown from the Attleboro Public Library. Today I am going to show you our March 2023 Take and Make kit. We are going to be painting some spring chicks. If you would like to request a free kit of materials, then you can contact us at attleborokids at salesinc.org or give us a call at 508-222-7820 and we'll gladly put a free kit of materials aside for you. You may already have these things at home, and if that's the case, then you can watch this video tutorial on our YouTube page, and you can get the written instructions on our website. If you do decide to request a kit, then inside you'll find the instruction sheet, you'll find a white piece of paper, some yellow paint, some orange construction paper, and a plastic fork. From home, you are going to need some scissors, so you might want some adult's help. Then you're going to need maybe a black marker. You're going to need some either a glue or a glue stick, and you might want a paper plate. I forgot to mention that you'll also get some Google Eyes in the kit if you request one. All right, my friends, so we are going to do some painting and we are going to use our fork as a paintbrush. There are two ways to do this. You could take some of the yellow paint and put it right on your paper and start painting from there. I prefer to take some of the paint and put it on a uh, paper plate and work from the paper plate, but whichever way you wanna do it is fine. So the fork times here, that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna dip the fork in until we get some paint on our fork. And then we're just going to start pressing the paint onto the paper. Now you don't want a big glob and push it in the middle because then you will miss out on the texture which is what we are trying to get. That's why we're trying to use the fork. You're just going to keep filling in until you feel like it's done. It can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can put it in a circle, you can put it in an oval, fill it in however you want, and just keep, remember to dab a little bit of paint and push it onto your paper. There really is no right or wrong way to do it, and if you do get a little splotch, it's not a big deal. Okay, so you're gonna fill in your entire paper until you end up with something like this. Okay, this is one I did earlier, so it's already dry. And I don't know how well you can see the texture, but all I did was use my fork and just kept layering my fork over the spots that I went to. Then you need to let it dry. This one is completely dry. Like I said, I did this one earlier so I could show you the next part. Uh, I am going to cut a beak out of the orange paper. And I have seen beaks done as diamonds. I've seen them as triangles. Whatever you wanna do, however you want your beak shape to be, I'm gonna make a triangle. I'm going to use my glue stick. You can also use white glue if that's all you have at home. I'm gonna glue my beak on there. I'm gonna glue my Google eyes on there. And then I am just going to use my marker to make my chick some legs. I'm gonna draw some legs in. And there we have it. There is our spring chick fork painting. And he looks cute, right? He looks like he's a little fluffy chick that just hatched. I hope you have a great time doing these and I would love to see the finished results. So take a picture and email it to me or take a picture and put it up on uh, your social media and tag us. I would love to see what you do. Bring it in so I can see it. I hope you have a great time doing this one. I think he's cute, I think it's fun and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.